Welcome back to Just Scribble. If you follow Sojourner on Instagram, then you've probably seen that they have started selling ring planners. So it all started when Sam from Earthy Plans, formerly Sam Plans, sent a ring planner to Rowena, the owner of Sojourner, so that she could try out ring planners. And it turns out she really liked using a ring planner system. But a lot of the ring planners on the market are a little bit bulky. They have big back pockets or lots of pockets and zippers and things inside. And that's really not Rowena's style or Sojourner's style. They're known for very light traveler's notebooks and folios, things that you can travel with because they're light and easy. And so she went into the studio one day and made herself a ring planner. And then she shared it and we all fell in love. And so she decided to add them to her shop right now at the time of filming they are only selling them in personal size but they do plan on adding other sizes including a six rings to their offerings and since I use a six rings Rowena sent me one to test out and try a sort of prototype and so she sent me one and I wanted to share it with you guys real quick and move into it so this is their ring planner they currently come in ember, which is awesome because it's one of my favorite leathers from them. It has structure, but it's still super soft and pliable. They come with an elastic closure, which I'm really excited about because it makes the entire system slimmer and lighter weight. It's just awesome. And on the inside, you have a secretarial pocket on the left-hand side, a slip pocket here on the left, and a card pocket here. Let's see, do I have a card? So you can slip your debit card, your ID, a washi card, a quote card, anything you want in there. And then on the right hand side, it has a slip pocket similar to what they have in their traveler's notebooks. And then it has two card pockets like that. And then in the center, it has rings. So when Rowena sent this to me, she actually sent it to me without the rings because she knew that I already had different ring mechanisms for a six size, the screw in style. And so she sent this to me without the rings so I could test for her different ring sizes and how they fit in the design, like the dimensions that she's already made. And so I actually did um, test out 19 millimeter rings and 30 millimeter rings. And then these are 25 millimeter rings, which is sort of my ring happy place. I do like 30 for certain things when I need more things in my planner. And then I actually really like the 19 because they're very, very slim. But as an everyday carry to have a lot of space for all the things that I need, the 23 to 25 millimeter is kind of my happy place. And so that's the set that I have left in here. And that's what I'm going to be moving into. So I wanted to share this with you to tell you guys that she's making ring planners, that she's starting with personal size, that she's testing out a six, which I'm so excited about. Show you how it's designed. I absolutely love it. I love the simplicity. I love how thin it is. So I'm gonna give you an example. So this is my Gilio matte croc, um, charcoal matte croc. And this has 23 millimeter rings in it, black matte ones. I do have an unboxing of this up on my channel. This is kind of my middle size ring planner. I do have a VDS that I bought pre-loved that has, I think it has 19 or 20 millimeter in it. And then I have a couple that came with 30 millimeter rings, but this is kind of the size that I like the most. I like the way it feels in my hands. It's a good size for the amount of things that I need in it. And it's the same size or roughly the same size rings as what I have in here. So I thought I would show you to compare how much slimmer it is. So the one from Rowena is a little bit taller than my Gilio. She is adjusting sizes, so I don't know that it will stay exactly this height. Maybe shorter in you know the final product, but in my test one, it's a little bit taller. But these basically have the same size rings in them. These are actually smaller rings than these by two millimeter. But look at that spine difference. Look how much more compact the Sojourner is than the Gilio. And this will actually hold more because it's got larger rings. Without that back pocket, which most of the time I don't even use and I don't really like because it adds a lot of bulk, you just get a much slimmer profile. Plus this has a larger back plate in it and these don't have a back plate because they're screw in, which I really like. And then, although I love the sound and the feel of a snap closure, this elastic closure is kind of like coming home to me because it is what I use on traveler's notebooks and it just keeps it slimmer and lighter and I just really, really love it. So it is a little bit taller than the Gilio, and like I said, this is a prototype, so final product may be different. And then if I lay them next to each other, it is also shorter. 
by mm, about a half an inch. So it's gonna feel smaller in my hand, more compact, and it's also gonna be smaller in my bag. Now, one thing about the way this is cut, the dimensions, they work best with 19 millimeter if you're using side tabs. With the 25 millimeter, if you have side tabs, it's gonna stick out. And I'm not sure, like I said, what her final dimensions are gonna be and how it's all gonna work out. But in my prototype, I won't be using side tabs because they would stick out, which is fine because I actually don't think I have side tabs in my current setup. But that's a quick little comparison. It just, I mean, first of all, they have the best leather. I just love their leather. And Ember is one of my favorites. So of course this is beautiful, but I just love how simple it is. There's just something really amazing about how simple this is and how it feels in the hand. I didn't mention that this interior is undyed. So it's their natural undyed leather. So this will patina over time. This will also because it's a veg tan leather, but this will patina over time. But that's kind of a little, quick little comparison to the Gilio. And then this is my other Gilio. This one I bought pre-loved from somebody. And I have a whole bunch of stuff stuck in here. So let me take my stuff out. But this I bought pre-loved from a friend in the planner community. And this is chunked up right now. I have so much stuff in here because I've been so busy. I've just been shoving stuff in it. But you can see just how much chunkier it is. Now these are bigger rings, so that's part of it. But without the back pocket and... Okay, I got interrupted from mom life and now I can't remember what I was saying. But this one is super chunky because I have extra stuff in it that I don't normally carry. Like extra papers and things like that. And then it has bigger rings. But I just love how this feels in my hand and oh I'm so excited. This is a Gilio Apoca that I bought from a friend in the planner community pre-loved. I don't like the leather necessarily. I just don't think the Apoca leather feels like it's a luxury item or that it's worth the amount that you pay for it. But I really love the Apoca Cloud because it's this purple color and I love purple but in some lights it turns more gray and in some it turns more purple and it's kind of a chameleon and so I like that and then it won't change color so it'll always stay this pretty color. I do not like the gold rings though and we are going to change those out at some point. I have a new set of Kraus rings so that I can change them out with you guys in the future but not right now. But this is what I have been carrying this month because I'm using my A6 rings as my EDC. And so we're going to move out of this and move into this. I'm not gonna do a full flip of this planner right now, but I'll probably leave it set up and do a flip maybe in August and show you guys um, like how I have it set up. So I do have post notes in there, which I probably won't put in the Sojourner. I do have some washi cards. I'll probably put most of those in there. I don't have anything in these pockets. I do have a pen. Now this doesn't have a pen loop, but there are options. You can put a fly leaf with a pen loop in it, or you can attach one of the traveler's notebook ones that you put like on a TN. You can attach one of those. You can just slip it into the elastic, lots of things you can do. So I'm all right that I don't have a pen loop because there's options. Uh, do I have anything in the pocket? Oh, I have like a little USB, like a converter thing. I'll leave that on my desk. So that's the only thing in there. And then in the back, I do have some mail, which I'm not gonna move out on this video, but I will probably tuck in there so that I can take care of what I need to take care of. But we're going to move everything in. So everything was on the rings except for the mail, this piece of paper, and then my planner, like my monthly planner from Sterling Inc. And so I can actually stick this back here. I can actually probably tuck it completely in there, but I can stick it back there and it will lay like that. So that's probably what I'll do. But I'm just gonna move everything in. I can't show you everything that's in here, but I do have like a jelly from Caspresso Co. I have a vellum or yeah, vellum that I printed. Like I made that on Canva and printed. I have task reminders. Can I have some Oreos and milk for dessert? So I have a freebie task reminder sheet. I have a planner routine. And then I have three sections of my planner. They have top tabs. The first one is like my lists section. And so I have my inbox, my brain dump, my shopping list, and then my order tracker in here. So we're gonna move that. 
And then my next section is my planner section. And I have this little printable from my minimal planner and I've been marking off the months. So I need to add July because today is the end of July. And then I do have my planner in here. I don't know that I can show you guys very much of it because I have some planner stuff for like the planner launch in here. But I am using the printable that I designed and I have shared it previously. But I'm using the printable that I designed that's kind of inspired by our horizontal planner and I will have printables on our website also for the new year. Well, actually before the new year, I'll have those up. And then this is just scribble stuff. And then this back section, the third section is my reference section. So I have stuff for my kiddos school. I have home stuff, all those types of things got my blotter paper so this was everything that was in my apoca cloud and my apoca cloud rings are big because they're 30 millimeter so everything except for the pieces of mail that are in the back and well I had pulled this out but it doesn't go in there it was on my desk at work and I needed to bring it home and like a coupon so those aren't normally in there then I have my kids camp card and then back here, I'll put these washi cards. You know what? Actually, I want the washi card up here. My Josephine Bow washi card. And then I'll put these, the camp card and these washi cards back here. All right, so that is everything that was in my Jillio, with the exception of the flyleaf and this piece of paper for a work thing. And I think I might actually be able to put that flyleaf in there and use it. I might do that, then I have a pen loop and we can see how it fits. But everything that was in there fits in here. Nothing sticks out. And it is so much smaller to carry. This is just awesome. I'm so excited and super appreciative that she's letting me test this out. And I've been sharing like the ring mechanisms in it and stuff like that. But this is like the grip on my cloud with nothing in it versus my sojourner with all the stuff in it that was in here. So even with everything in it, this is still smaller. So it feels smaller in my hand, feels more compact. I really love it, I'm so excited. This now feels similar to my Croc Gilio, which is like my favorite kind of size in my hand, but it feels smaller because it's narrower, which I like. And I mostly prefer top and bottom tabs in my ring planners. I do have side tabs and I actually just shared some recently these um, ones from Annie's planner shop and occasionally I'll use those as well but I like top and bottom tabs a lot but oh, everything fits and it fits nicely like I don't have a whole bunch of extra space or anything like that let me find a spot I can open to I think I think I'm gonna put the pencil board in the middle and I'm gonna take my mild liner off and use my pen instead Right now I'm gonna use this pen, but I'll probably change to one that maybe matches the, um, the planner more. She is waiting for rings to come back in stock. I think that's gonna be the final piece before she can finalize and launch the A6 size. Look at that with the leather flyleaf with the pen in there. You've got your pen. Sticks out just like it would like on a Shakespeare Traveler's Notebook or something like that, which is awesome. And you have your elastic. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's awesome. Let me take this paper for work. And because I have this pocket, I can stick it there. And then these are the mail things that I need to deal with. I'm curious if I can stick them there, if they'll fit. I don't think I'm gonna keep them there though because I don't really want to stretch out my pocket. I think I'll just stick them back here. but everything fits. Every single piece that I had in that cloud fits in here, even with the smaller rings. And the mail is not staying, which is just like stuck right there, but 
Oh, I'm so excited. All right, so that, that's my video. I wanted to tell you guys that Sojourner was making rings. I wanted to show you the design, how she has it set up with the elastic closure and the pockets inside. I wanted to kind of compare the size of this prototype version to my Jillio, and then I wanted to move in because I want to start using it. So that is my video. I just wanted to share this with you guys. If you guys have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them down below and I will definitely get back with you. Give me a thumbs up if you like this share of the new Sojourner ring planners. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.